Hi, this is Tom Pitcock. This is my journey, my jersey. Well, this is jersey I had when I was younger. The only time before I've worn by a racer when I won my first a national. Well, I mean, I think Yorkshire is obviously important. It's where I'm from. It's where I'm proud to be from, and needs to be needs to be on the jersey, doesn't it? Somewhere. Got my Yorkshire. It used to have white bits all in these gaps, but they all kind of fell out. So no, but it's just kind of the the big community that that I kind of grew up in in Yorkshire with the group rides and yeah, everyone meets at the same cafe on Saturdays so yeah it's just a kind of a big community everyone kind of knows everybody and it's just uh yeah it's still my favorite place to ride for sure yeah this is photo me on my my first bike I don't think it's my first race but it's probably one of the first races uh, Richard Dunn that's where uh we did loads of winter training sessions races in the summer that's where I kind of learned how to race because I wasn't necessarily the strongest. Yeah, all my, all my friends, you know, used to get annoyed because I'd dive bomb them into the last corner every time. Richardson was a good track because it was, yeah, a lot of, well, it had elevation change, it had corners, off camber corners. It certainly helped make me as a rider for sure. Well, I think certainly this is one of my uh, biggest memories at Junior Worlds. Yeah, I mean, cross is not really a sport that we've excelled in before, but to one, pull that off, and then to Ben and Dan be on the podium next to me, that was, uh, yeah, that was a special day, you know? I think the rainbow stripes are the most, well, the biggest, the biggest thing you can win in cycling. I mean, my opinion slightly changed after the Olympics, but the World Championships is the biggest race of the year in whatever discipline, I think, so. To me, yeah. Very important. Well, I'm current world champion, and I think yeah, it'd be it'd be nice for a little touch on the on the jersey for sure. This team I've I've uh, I looked up to since I was little. I, I made a Team Sky montage poster that was in my bedroom, and so yeah, it was kind of my my dream team. And then yeah, to turn pro with them, and now we yeah, are racing racing in these colours. It's uh, yeah, pretty, pretty nice, pretty sentimental, I guess. Well, like, like I was saying, the Olympics was kind of. I always, if someone said, would you, "What would you rather win, road worlds or Olympic title?" I would say road worlds. But after going to the Olympics and well, even winning, then it's completely different because it just transcends cycling. It's much bigger than that. It's like the whole country is involved in it, and kind of behind you and, and that that's what makes it special and, and different, I guess. Well, I think growing up, Cav and Wiggins were kind of the, the guys at the forefront of British cycling, I guess, and Cav here winning winning the Worlds in this GB kit. I mean, that's a pretty cool kit. Yeah, just they were kind of the inspiration for me growing up and then eventually I was representing Great Britain myself and in these colours. Yeah, they were winning bike races against yeah the best the best guys in the world and I guess partly their characters as well, you know. Having a character as well as being good at riding a bike is kind of it, it relates to me I guess. So yeah. Yeah, this this kit here is probably the coolest GB kit I think in my opinion. Just simple colours. Yeah, that's uh this is the this is the cool, yeah, recognisable kit I think. I think blues blues are good colours. I think like Probably a blue, blue like this one is uh, like the team colours. is a is a nice colour to have on a jersey that's uh, practical. I would say. I mean, yeah, national jersey is uh, is white, but it isn't very practical. So um, yeah, it's all good for Swifty and us because we have buy racer that can make us new ones when they go grey. But um, <laughs> yeah, for for people who want to who are buying jerseys, yeah, white's not the the best colour, is it? Well, you just got to look cool, haven't you? It's just, you can't have a crap-looking jersey, because then you then you look crap, don't you? And feel crap, so you look good, feel good, then you go good. Pretty cool, that, isn't it? 
you've got the Yorkshire Rose pattern here across the chest. These are the, the GB colours we were talking about with the touch to the Olympics on the sleeves. And here on the back we've got a red stripe like, uh, like on the Ineos jersey. And a little touch to Tokyo mountain bike race here in the top. We've got the world champ stripes and uh, two tracks on the collar here. Richard Dunn, where it all started and then I guess, yeah, where I am now at Fayetteville, where I won uh, my first elite world title. So yeah, nice little journey. My, my journey, my jersey, there you go. <laughs> Cool design, but not over the top. It's uh, it's nice, yeah. Well, I guess I need to go try it on now. Pretty good, isn't it? Nice. I like it. It's, it looks nice. Classy with a bit of uh, show on the arms, I guess. I really like it. 